Hey, party people, what's going on? It's BQ with the Impact Lounge. Now, you already know this is the place to be for Impact Wrestling news, rumors, and all that good stuff. But sometimes there's a little bit of a shade of gray. You know, my talk a little NWA, a little Lucha Underground. In this case, a little Global Force Wrestling. Jeff Jarrett did an interview with uh, NOLA.com. So, talking about the WrestleMania week and everything. Um, and talking about his career. So before we get into his answer, he was asked what's going on with Global Force. The, the, specifically, the question is what's going on with Global Force Wrestling and how is your health? But let me get into this real quick. If you've been following GFW on social media, you'll see that the Twitter and the Facebook is starting to get active again. Now, it's more geared around Jeff Jarrett, Jarrett's Hall of Fame induction, but it's get, but it's active again. And it's really unfortunate when you see GFW, you know, post on social media. It's it's a lot of the same gold bars jokes and, um, you know, the same the same jokes. And I, I talked about it with uh, Adam Thornstow on the podcast and then on the newest uh, interview with Congo Kong that as of right now I haven't released yet. We talk about Jeff Jarrett, you know, maybe getting an unfair shake because all the guy really was trying to do was live a dream, start a company. He already has started one successful company, so he was trying to start another one. And I think maybe what ultimately bit him ass, bit him in the ass with people is that there was a lot of promises that didn't come to fruition. You know, oh, the, you know, we're, you know, the TV deals come and this and this and this. And I think people didn't really get behind it because I, I don't think he play the underdog angle maybe as well as he could have. So I think he gets a really unfair shake. The guy was just trying to live a dream. And I don't know if that, that dream can still become a reality or not. I don't think we know what GFW is going to be, if it is going to be anything. And there's no reason it can't be a independent promotion or no reason he can't do something similar with it that Billy Corgan is doing with NWA, building it around the titles and everything. And I met them in... Tennessee recently at a tried and true show and Jeff didn't say a whole lot um he, he kind of got a lot of attention from other people but uh Karen was very sweet very nice very beautiful and uh it was cool to meet them I was I was really happy to have that opportunity to do so so he was asked by nola.com nola.com what is going on with Global Force Wrestling and how is your health? So I'm going to read his exact answer so that this is not clickbait to you. So you don't think I'm, I'm trying to draw on listeners here. I'm, he says, quote, I'm working on some international projects as we speak. It is without a shadow of a doubt the best I've been in years. Feel great. And not just physically, mentally and emotionally and spiritually as well. I'm really excited about the next chapter of my career. The international wrestling scene has so much growth, opportunity, Asia, South America, Africa, Europe, all around the world, end quote. So very vague, no real, <laughs> no real answer. And I think he's, uh, you know, Jeff's done that from time to time in interviews, kind of kind of dance around things again a, a little bit. Um, Dixie Carter did it a whole lot. So uh, Ed Norholm's one of the guys that he's been a really straight shooter uh, when you ask him questions like that. So who knows what is going on with Jeff GFW, but I want to know, would you support it? If Jeff, you know, decided, Hey, I'm not giving up on this because the only time you fail, people like to throw the word failure around a lot. The only time is you're a failure is, is when you quit, when you stop doing something, it's the American dream to keep pushing and keep, keep pushing it to, to get to where you want to be in life. And if it's a start a wrestling company, if it's the start a family, whatever you find, whatever makes you happy at the end of the day, that's that's success. Do I consider Jeff Jarrett and Global Force Wrestling a failure? I don't. It hasn't panned out the way he has wanted it to or hoped it would, but maybe it can be something. We never know. More wrestling is good for everybody. More jobs, more places to work in. It may never be a televised product. But it could be a strong indie promotion. You never know. I've said oftentimes that I really liked the presentation of Global Force Wrestling on the Amped Anthology and the idea behind it. And when I was at the Tried and True show and he gave a speech, you know, there was um, a lot of you deserve it and all that. And it's, I gotta say, it's funny how the narrative changes when one person is, is uh, 
linked to WWE as opposed to Impact Wrestling or, or you know, obviously Global Force in this case. So wrestling fans are funny. If you enjoy listening to Impact Wrestling news and what's going on in the Impact Wrestling world, please hit subscribe button. I am BQ. This is the Impact Lounge. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.